Hey guys, Shane here with Talk More Tech. Uh, we're starting out a new channel, so please uh, like, please subscribe if you appreciate what you're seeing here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about getting into the 360 video deal. There's a lot of good cameras out there on the low end. A lot of the cameras that I've been looking at, it seems like the reviews all point to going with the Samsung Gear 360. All right, here it is. The Samsung 360 Gear. It's a nice camera. Well built, pretty durable. I've put it through a few tests of my own here. Now, that camera was great. Went out and got it. However, I edit my footage on my MacBook Pro using Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, I've seen some videos out there on how to be able to do that, but I found a pretty easy way. And I wanted to share that with you. It involves converting that file into a file that your MacBook and that Apple can uh, understand and recognize and be able to play there in QuickTime. And then once you do that, there's a plugin in Final Cut Pro 10 that is now free. Uh, the Dashwood, the 360 Tool, and the 360 Express, those uh, plugins are now free on the fxfactory.com there. So without any more delay, let's go ahead and I'll get into showing you how this all works. All right, guys, so if you go to anyvideoconverter.com, and click the one for the Mac, um, of course, for using your MacBook Pro. Uh, this is the video converter um, that I use. And it's uh, got pretty good ratings there by CNET and can do all sorts of uh, different things here. This is where I picked it up. And you can download it and uh, get it on your computer. And when you pull it up, this is what you're going to get here. It's this icon. Uh, so you can click it and open it up and here you have the window that pops up and we need to drag in our video footage from the 360 gear so if we open this up I'm just gonna pull one of these over notice there's no preview but when you pull it over into this uh, box here you have uh, many different options that you convert it to um, but I use the one here the for Apple TV um, don't know why that's my preference, but uh, I guess it's got a bigger aspect ratio. So that's what I use. And uh, then you can go down here and hit the Convert Now button. And for the sake of this video, we'll speed things up here uh, until it's done converting. Now that it's done, you see the icon over here on the desktop, and if we click up here and open it, we now have footage that QuickTime can play. So now that we have footage that we can use, now we can bring that into Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so if we go to FX Factory, the plugin that we use is down here Dashwood and there's the 360 VR Toolbox and there's also the 360 VR Express. The VR Express one is the one that we want to download and we'll be using. So we want to make sure that we have that downloaded, it's free, and uh, we can use this plugin in Final Cut Pro to stitch our footage together. Alright, Final Cut Pro, we're going to bring in our footage real quickly. Just to show how this works, never doesn't matter. All right, so you bring in your footage, and now if you go down here to your plugins, you're going to go to the Dashwood and uh, Express, and here we are. It's the stitching. So we're going to click bring that plugin over onto our footage, drop it in, and now if you notice at the top here, there's a drop down and there is a setting already for the Gear 360 camera. So we'll select that and um, turns it into the equal rectangular footage that we can now use. So we've used these plugins, this the stitching here from Dashwood to create and uh, now we can manipulate that footage in the VR world now. So there you guys have it. Uh, fairly easy to do. 
I uh, love that the Dashwood plugins are now free and uh, really the only money you're investing in if you don't already have a computer is just that Samsung 360 gear and I think I picked it up for about 280 uh, something like that on sale so anyways alright guys if you enjoyed that video please hit that like button subscribe we're just getting started um, so looking forward to, to putting out more content out there and hopefully help you guys out with your tech needs. So we'll talk more tech next time.